This is gonna be a little bit of an extra video, or not extra video. But this is gonna be tacked on the end of the video, so you should just see a little blip. And yeah, I'm recording two video, two video segments still, but this is gonna be kind of cool, just because there's extra stuff and plot, blah blah blah. It's a talking jelly bean. I Hi, talking am jelly bean. Very confusing. Yes, you, you are. Confused about? All of these corporations, mercenary forces, alien races. I am mixing them over. Can't tell the players without a program, eh? Okay, let me give you some quick background on each of them. Maybe this person has differing ideals on... Like... Hold on. Basically, to put in perspective, the aliens that make up this person's race are probably carbon copies or similar to it. And the differentials of other races probably confuse him. That's my interpretation of it. Anyway. As Earth expands in this sector of space, oh, different you can corporations just skip are establishing this. colonies on uninhabited planets. They do everything from creating vacation resorts to mining exotic ores to terraforming. We and the Terran Colonial Authority patrol between the planets to keep the peace. The corporations try to get away with a lot out here, and they hire mercenary forces to help them get their way. We often find like ourselves fighting country. the mercs to defend civilians who Ooh. work for their own corporation. But if we true. run into something we can't take on alone, we call in the Marines. And you know it, third world countries that aren't as well enforced as, let's say, like America or Europe or anything else like that. Like say you go to Africa, there aren't as many checks and balances. That's what I mean by third world country. I'm not being a dick. I'm just saying the things that are on my mind. Don't fault me for that! Axon is on our side. They're a private company who works hand in hand with our military to research and develop new weapons. Cool. They make us guns. I like that. I like guns. The Leandri Corporation is a heavy industrial and mining combine with installations on dozens of planets. They defend their interests with an army of genetically engineered female warriors who have been <laughs> raised since birth to be fighters. The Leandri Angels are female cold, Spartans. dispassionate, and highly efficient. Space they're Spartans. among the elite of industrial mercenary forces. Oh god, please don't tell me they're like the Sisters of Battle. Oh god. If you if you know your Warhammer, the Sisters of Battle are, are crazy. They are like space marines, but they're chicks, and their favorite thing to do is burn everything. At least that's what I gathered from the uh, Dawn of War game. The Izanagi is a broad-based conglomerate modeled on the ancient Japanese Kuritsu. I have no idea. They're into whatever makes money. Oh. And they protect themselves with an elite core of merc soldiers, fanatically loyal Ghost to the corporation. Board. Who Love call themselves in Ghost Warriors? Well, they're just called ghosts, very quickly. They're awesome. The Scar are a power-hungry race who have been trying to expand into this they're sector space of knows. space. I got it. Normally, their highly tribal social structure prevents them from working Ooh, together. Ooh, but recently, we've seen unusual examples of cooperation between the clans, which can only spell trouble for us. Someone their warriors came to them with are all highly independent, God. intelligent, and very dangerous No, they're not. They use crappy little beam lance thingies that have their power limiters on. It's like having a toy gun, and then you, like, you... I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. It's like those airsoft guns, and you dial up the spring so they actually, like, hurt people. You little airsoft guns, you mess with the spring, and I'm just going to stop talking now. Basically, I can see that they're pretending to be their god because they sound stupid and tribal. The Azarians are borderline psychotic aliens Ooh, who seem cool. to live to fight. They had conquered a small area of space and subjugated a few minor races. Oh, wait, the Azarians are space gnomes. Then they ran into the Scar and became slaves themselves. With their sadomasochistic <laughs> tendencies, we're not at all <laughs> sure they mind. They sound very, very, very fun individuals. And since I'm going to make this comment, mm. kinky. Okay. All right. The Kai are an old semi-nomadic race that has spread from planet to planet, taking a keen interest in the archaeology, folklore, and traditions of each. They stay on the fringes of society, however, and make their way by performing menial tasks wherever they go. Hmm. They sound like a better version of the... God, what are the hell they called in Mass Effect? Quarians. They sound like a better version of them, since they don't 
to They are not a known aggressor race, and they're not indigenous to hell. We think they're just creatures who were imported from off-planet to the labs and then mutated under the influence of the energy beam and the artifact. Hmm, that sounds sensible enough. Oh, he doesn't say a thank you? Fine, whatever. I like that dump of information, actually. It's quite interesting. What's up, boss? I just got off the blower with the sector commander. We all just got our military ranks back. See, I don't know, John. Last time I was in uniform, it didn't turn out so good. Space cancer? Just ask Ida. That was a long time ago, Isaac. You've changed. You'll do better this yeah, time. Yeah, got a little arm we'll now. We'll see. I don't know if you had that before, but I'm just making comments. What do you know about the Ghost Warriors? Well trained. Some live by the old samurai code. Bushido. Others are just in it for the action. So, you ready for some new weapons? Yes! 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 There should never Fire be an option. Away. Just yes! I'm tinkering with that arachnid biomass you found on Hell. I'm Ew. thinking I can make a weapon out of it. Ew! Anyway, awesome. I've added the flamethrower to your loadout, and I swapped with a buddy to get incendiary grenades for the launcher. Oh, you are a I legend. I dropped off her magnum as well. I'm surprised she's willing to part with it. Take your pick. I know where she keeps it. I'm, I'm not going to tell you. Let's take Somewhere a look at Grace. Ida's had her forever. She's a really sweet weapon. 50 does look nice. caliber explosive ammunition. What? Very accurate and very powerful. Alt fire is a three round burst that takes a little longer to reload. Use her for medium range targets when you're too far away for a shotgun, but too Sounds close like I'm going to be using this more rifle. Lot. Anything else? It sounds like a space deagle, really. How does the incendiary grenade work? Sprays burning phosphorus will set almost anything on fire. Make sure you don't get caught in the backflash. Burning phosphorus? That's weird. Okay. So just say it fires thermite. It'd be cooler. Oh wait. Sorry, that was Run a grenade. Down the flamethrower mm. Its name pretty much says it all. The Vulcan uses oh, canisters cool of napalm for, for ammo and shoots out a spray of flaming gas. Just point and shoot to incinerate a whole crowd of enemies in close quarters. I like it. Alt fire is a spray oh, of unignited napalm that'll stick to any surface. You can set it off with primary fire or with one of your other weapons. But it's unstable enough that after a few seconds it'll probably ignite anyway. So it's more like nitroglycerin. Be? I think that's all. I think we went over the shotgun, the shock lance. And all of those. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. See you later. Danke very much. Uh, danke sehr. Does this, this update? It does. Oh my gosh, yes. Alright, so we have that and that and this and that. all just thrown in there casually. Jeez, Isaac, take better care of my guns. No wonder they're all scratched. I have to kick you sometime. Yeesh. Anything change around here? Probably not. Oh man, are we in hyperspace? I want to go see if there's hyperspace in the front. And then I'll probably end the video there, just because it's probably the beginning of the next mission, and I just wanted to record a few short videos before I left. Or before I was done recording today. Or whatever. No, we're not. It's moving really, really slow through space. Space box, by the way. You can see where it butts up right there. I don't know if you can see it on YouTube quality, but you can see we're in a big box. Still pretty good looking. Yeah, this looks like a good place to end it. Nah. I just wanted to record a few short videos before um, I signed up today, just because I haven't recorded videos in ages, even though I'm still going to be uploading Antichamber for like the dawn of forever. I've only uploaded one set, but seriously, there's a lot to upload. Not me failing, it's just. This it seems like a lot. Mm hmm, yeah. Well, there is plenty of failing in there, but it's been cut out. But there's still a lot. Yeah. Alright. So, with that, I uh, hope you enjoyed the set. And... SPOING!